hearing down. If we don't, these aren't ready to be picked. But if you, I want, to, want, want you to learn something. These are too tightly clustered. Okay. For an example, if you have four in a cluster, you've got two that are bumping each other. Take one off. You had five in a cluster, so it came off perfect. Two. Same thing here. You've got a cluster of four. You know, get get one out of there. You got a cluster of four. Get one out of there. And what's the purpose of that? Because you're gonna you want your apples to get a little bit bigger, and on top of that, the weight will start breaking your limbs, and then you have a damaged tree for next year. You know, we can either prop them up or we can thin them. If so you if you do that now, then these will get bigger. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and actually we should have done a lot sooner, but like I told Bruce, we were gearing down. This is too much for us anymore. We had labor issues and labor's hard to find. I would have come to help you. Well. For free. <laughs> and we would have taken your help for free. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, this is, these clusters are too thick, you know, and that's why the apples are small, is we didn't come through and thin. Aww. But theoretically, you, it's all right. Small apples are actually as tasty as big apples. You just have to eat more of them. Right. <laughs> okay. Question. Now, what do I think they're doing to prune these when the apples are small so you get that growth translated into the other apples? Exactly. Okay. And it, it should have been done a month ago. Okay. But like I said, I've been so overworked and understaffed that we just don't do it. Here's the time again. What happens when you don't stand a bush? Oh, Just feel wow. the weight of all those apples on that. Wow. Come feel that. Feel the weight of all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's what, 15 pounds, huh? Or more. Yeah. So, and then that breaks the tree. Too. And that breaks the tree. So, the best now, thing is. Are, are there any animals that will come eat the off. apples on the floor, like deer or anything? Or you probably no. want to keep those out, huh? No, but here's the nice thing is we'll gather all these apples. We will gather all these apples and put them into our compost. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. that's great. What do you do so with the apples? That you, there's gotta be something good you can do with those apples. Absolutely. We gather all the apples and they go into a hole right over here and they go into a compost. We add a little bit of organic fertilizer and water to the compost. You continuously stir the compost. Then come planting time, you come pull the compost out, you take it to your garden areas, till it in and you have compost that you didn't have to purchase and it's all organic compost. Oh, that's and that's the nutrients it. and everything that the tree is going to suck right up and put right back into new apples. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And your vegetables. You okay. use the compost in your vegetable gardens as well. So, you know, it's going to be a long process for you guys to learn. There's going to be a lot of things. I'm going to teach you how to recognize diseases. I'm going to teach you to recognize the stress and what causes the problems with the tree. Why it acts the way it acts. What can you do to, to help it? What can you do to stop the problems that you're having? In some of these trees, we've had fruit borer problems. That's why you see white paint. The white latex paint protects the bark from the fruit borer. It keeps the fruit borer out of the cambrium layer. The cambrium layer works is the way the nutrients come up out of the ground into the tree. The cambrium layer is between the hardwood trunk of the tree and the bark. It's a very thin layer. Your water and your nutrients all work up that. If you get a bug in there and it breaks that, then all your nutrients can't get up to your tree. Right. So these are all things you're going to learn as we go along. Is that what those little holes are? That's what those yeah. little holes are. Those are bugs? Those are called fruit borers. Fruit borers. Hmm. Fruit borers. Who knew it was so fruit hard to take care of an apple tree? Those, those little holes in there, those were bugs that were there before. Yes, they're not there now. They're not there now. Is there a way to get them out or anything? To prevent that and repair the tree in case they do get in? Back to the soap. Okay. <laughs> Back to the soap. <laughs> Back to the soap. So it's pretty much, it's pretty simple. Soap and water. Real simple soap and water. <laughs>